At our October 17th council meeting, the first big item on the agenda was a report recommending different steps that the city can take to expand sports tourism. Now, given the city's location between Toronto and Ottawa, we're well set up to attract a number of provincial championships and other large sporting events that can bring a lot of economic impact to the city. The key is having the right facilities. So the report recommended a number of actions, including building an aquatics facility, having new meetings and conference space next to the Leon Center, and also revitalizing ports of Olympic Harbor. The council unanimously approved the report, and now staff will work at integrating the recommendations into the city's longer term plans. Last night, council also passed a motion to support new electricity storage and generation projects within the city. Now, given our high rate of growth, there's real concern about having enough electricity to support new housing growth and business growth in the community in the coming years. As we continue to press the provincial government on this issue, council agreed it was important to be seen to be at the table working on solutions that can help add to the supply of electricity. So council did support the motion to support new electricity storage and generation opportunities, but they also added a condition that we would support storage and renewable generation opportunities, but not fossil fuel projects like a new natural gas plant. Finally, last night, Council passed a motion to join with more than 50 other communities across Ontario in declaring intimate partner violence as an epidemic. The Council heard from representatives from Kingston Interval House and other anti-violence groups about the importance of education and raising awareness about intimate partner violence and family violence. Now, in declaring an epidemic, Council also asked staff to look at different initiatives and projects that be can be included in the community's safety and well-being plan to help reduce the incidence of intimate partner violence.